Hey there. I wasn't expecting this, <laughs> but uh, thank you. <laughs> um, my name is uh, Hugo, that's my real name. Uh, everyone calls me Pachi because I have my father's name. Um, so uh, I'm an Uber driver, but I work in advertising as a writer and creative director for the last 20 years. I'm from Argentina. I, um, I'm from a small town in Argentina called Pergamino, uh, 100,000 people. When I finished college, I moved to Buenos Aires, study uh, advertising, lived there, then uh, got a job in New York in 2005, moved to New York to work in an agency, met my girlfriend at the time in New York, and then I got, we were living together for a month in New York, and I got uh, an offer from an agency here in Austin. And I told them that I couldn't take it because you know, I was living with my girlfriend. She had a job in New York. And, um, and they had a job for her too. So we came here. We liked the city. It was 2008. And uh, yeah, we moved to Austin. What's that? The agency was Latin Works. Uh, it's an Hispani uh, for the Spanish market. Um, so and then um, in 2009, we moved on a Monday, on Sunday, and Monday found out she was pregnant. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, that timing. So we got married in Puerto Rico. She's from Puerto Rico. And, um, and we had a daughter. Uh, her name is Elena. She's nine years old now. But that was. 2009, 2010, after I was on, on my lunch, and I got a call from Argentina, my parents had a car accident. Uh, my father was in a coma for 10 months until he died, and my mom in a bed for six months with six surgeries. So I had to leave my daughter, she was one year old, went to Argentina for a month, came back, and we were having travels, we were, you know, knowing each other and, you know, the pregnancy and the first year was tough. We didn't have any family here, any friends. We were working in the same place, <laughs> which was, you know, har even harder. And we had an argument one day and uh, I left wo to work, just shooting the door, just yelling to each other. And the next day I got served at work. She filed for divorce right away. So I went home, took my stuff and left and never came back. Went to sleep with a friend in a, in a, on a couch. But you know, my daughter was one year old. I was seeing my daughter once a week for two hours. And my parents in that situation in Argentina was, was really tough. Um, but then I was using uh, Instagram as anyone else, just taking portraits and, and pictures of anything that I liked, my everyday life, just random stuff. And one day, uh, one day I came across this homeless guy. And uh, I asked him for a picture, and I started talking to him, and we talked for like half an hour. And that talk helped me out, putting in perspective my own problems, and it helped me realize I was blessed, that at least I had a couch to sleep that night, that my daughter was healthy and I was healthy and my mother was alive. So it was crazy finding out that this person that did, did have nothing material to offer gave me the support I needed at the time, that any other people with money didn't, didn't give me. And so since that day, I just focus on taking portraits of homeless people. And that helped me out on, on my own personal situation to, to feel better. And at the same time, I found a project, uh, an inspiring project, and a rewarding project that I didn't have for the last 20 years. I realized that I wasn't happy selling shit to people and lying to people all the time. I realized that I was tired of pretending uh, in every meeting, talking to every client and every person in the agency, just 
being that persona that wasn't me just for a salary and for money, just to spending, overspending my money on buying shit, buying things that I didn't need, going to restaurants, uh, getting drinks, and, and I wasn't happy. And I realized it, and I decided to quit. And I quit my job. And it was tough, because I went from 100,000 a year to zero in one day. And I was, I'm paying child support, and my child support was based in my old salary. So um, I didn't know what to do. And I started driving Uber, and it's amazing. I can turn off the app anytime I want. Every ride, it's, it's a new story. It's a new person. I'm a creator. I'm a writer. I'm feeding myself with the stories all the time. I'm outside. Uh, I'm taking my daughter to tennis every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. How much is that worth? You know, I'm, I'm happier. I'm free. Uh, I don't have much money now, but I learned a lot. I learned to spend less, and I learned that the most amazing things and interesting things in life are for free. I had to learn to have fun with my daughter without spending money. And actually, those are the best experiences that you can have with your kids. Riding bikes is for free. Playing tennis is for free. Uh, for drawing, we need a pen and a paper. And we can draw a castle. You can have a castle with a pen and a paper. And if you ask me what I remember from my dad, it's going fishing with my dad. It's not buying anything. So uh, it's been a big change. I even changed my diet. Uh, I'm spending so much less money in, in eating, you know, because I, I had to go to the office, I had to go to a restaurant every, every day, have lunch, you know, spending $15 a day. Uh, I had to have, I was spending money on working. You had to have night clothes, you had to have different pairs of shoes for different, you can wear the same uh, clothes every day. Now, I, now I'm wearing this every day. I, I change it, change the shirt, clean it, wear the same. You know, I don't have to show anything, I'm just myself. And one more thing, one more thing, the last one, is that I'm not just driving Uber. I'm starting my own film production company, and I'm releasing my own documentary about homelessness people in the next two months, and BMW is sponsoring me, and the screening is gonna be in New York. Thank you so much. <laughs>